Hi, it's Raquel. Welcome back to Recovery to Wellness. This is where survivors radiate badassery. It is currently August 7th, 2024. I'm in the library. I'm going to be doing a video book review. This is that video. I have you balancing on a notebook, on a book that I actually am going to be working on the review for technically. It's due tomorrow, so I, I'm hoping to get it all done um, by Saturday. That will be fantastic if I can because there's a lot of page flags in it and there's a whole whole thing with that. But So I have you balancing on a notebook, that book, and a journal book. I am going to be reviewing for this video book review this book. It is called This Far North from Jason Tandon. I honestly keep going to say like Joseph or like Joe or like John Tannen, but that's not that's not his name. His name is Jason Tannen This Far North and it is a collection of it's a poetry book. It's a collection of poetry. I'm going to be reviewing it. I don't have this figured out at all, and I'm going to refer to my published review and things that affect so the computer is over here so I'm gonna refer to that to tell you the gist of poems and my sort of experience reading it but something I didn't include in one of the new review styles and such so I want to kind of talk that out and everything and um, this will be the video book review and we'll I don't know I'll have a fun time editing this later <laughs> so anywho something I'm doing now I have finally gotten to the point where I am taking the it was once for a while what I was calling the book exploration station. If you don't know, I also have a WordPress blog. I'm not as active on there. My most active websites of social media that I'm on, I would say YouTube, Reddit, fan fiction sites, like primarily archive of our own AO3 and then probably my WordPress blog or, you know, probably my WordPress blog fourth. So my main hubbub of social interaction on social media. I used to call them these book exploration stations for book reviews that I, that's primarily the content that I'm putting out on my blog this year or so. And so I would write these giant, giant posts of book exploration station and for years I've been needing to really break them down and make them more of a just a regular old book review kind of thing. And one of the ideas I had probably back, I guess, I think it was 2020, 2021 or so, I thought about doing something to the lines of like a recovery research report is what I was going to call it kind of thing. And so I had made an original thumbnail for it, but I never really got everything figured out and such. So anywho, fast forward to 2024, now in about July, August 2024, as I've come back into reading books a lot more and then now starting to do video book reviews and doing more review stuff on my blog as well, I have fully embraced, like I'm still working out the kinks and I'm still working out the whole, you know, what I am keeping, what I'm not and things like that, but I am now releasing uh, recovery with the RAQ recovery reads reports because recovery reads is also that project that I want to do whenever I get the next chance and I feel ready to do it in a sense but what I'm hoping would be a, a, a nice little YouTube niche niche in YouTube and also on Reddit and such recovery reads because I think that'd be cool and stuff we could we could talk about like uh, we could pick have like an online book club kind of thing and we could I could do like we could do like discussion questions and like write a post and stuff about it and like really kind of do that excitement kind of stuff that'd be cool and so recovery reads reports are the R3s so essentially my book review section now I I also redid the thumbnail on my blog for the book review and now it's a lot more bare bones of like some criticism, critical corner still, some creative cove. Uh, for this book, I didn't do creative cove because I didn't really have anything for it. And then like the recommendation score, the book, the length, 
trigger warnings, themes. That's pretty much it. Quotes, like five quotes at the most kind of thing. And then it's kind of like, you know, what I'm gonna be reading next. I still really wanna do like a mission statement and a vision statement for recovery reads reports, but I haven't done that just yet. And then recovery reads is more of that nitty gritty of like, here's really like, if, if it's more quotes kind of thing, here's my analysis of it, here's my like, really grappling with the material, really. So it's doing that sort of commentary piece, but with, in a different uh, section in a sense, in a different sort of post itself. I'm also including, if you look at my blog, I'm also including graphs, like pie charts, of like how long it's taking me to work on certain things or how long, for instance, on this book of poetry, the, the TFN, which is the name of the, the title of the work, just shortened, TFN, I have a pie chart of how many minutes it took me to do essentially on what days, like how long it took to do whatever I was doing. So I have pie charts and stuff for data, for the data. So you can check out on Recovery to Wellness, it's the same username as here over yonder. Feel free to comment on it if you want to, but this is also the video book review as well, which will all of the posts I'll go back and edit and put in the links and such. So even probably for this video, whenever I get it edited out, I'll include a link to the book review part of it and then the recovery reads report. Anywho, so that's kind of just a breakdown of that kind of stuff on the, on the computer. As far as this book, I also, so what other thing I'm doing is I titling, originally titling the recovery reads reports so this one for this book was so far down and it's, it's written as entry number one but technically in the book review section of this far north for this book review number 11 i think it is yeah it's book review number 11 and i read this pretty much all in july so anyhow back to video book review this is a book of poetry it's 83 pages long. My recommendation score for it, so five being the absolute best, zero being the absolute worst. I rated it a two out of five. I don't really know if the like content of the poetry is like based on like fictitious kind of thing. Does the fiction, does poetry even have fiction versus nonfiction? I honestly don't know. But I don't know if it's like fictitious or if it is some like semblance of truth from the author's like life and such. There's like notes on like family life and having children and sort of being really human in a sense to like that common humanity and the fact that like that we we all sort of question at some point our existentialism which is something that I think I might want to start reading about in like philosophy books and stuff just to kind of get back into that kind of thing because I, I, I was going to be a philosophy minor when I was in college but I never I had like two classes left before I could have done that, but it is an interest of mine. And so like existentialism and that kind of wondering of, you know, what is life? What is it to be human in a sense? So this book of poetry really kind of grapples with that. I'll show you a couple things. This is also from 2023, by the way. Something that could have made it really cool is like, for instance, when it comes to this page, right? And this is like part one. I feel like having like a photo or like some sort of imagery or some sort of like artwork here would have been really cool to kind of break it up a little bit further. I don't know if poetry books do that kind of thing, but I think that would have been cool as kind of like a missed opportunity. There were a couple of poems that I really liked. Uh, I had to go back and to edit this, but I liked Man Paddling Canoe with a Dog. That was one of my one of my favorites. I really loved Coyote. That was a really, really good one. I liked that one a lot. I found Shakespeare to be very adult and heavy. There's also, I think it was Robin's 6 a.m. That was a good one. How Do I Love Thee was one that made me think of something else, but I don't remember. <laughs> I thought of it, I knew what I was thinking about when I was reading it, but in the review process, I don't remember what I was in referencing for that. I had wanted to write has a cool uh, cardiophile moment in it. And the last one that it ends with is a, a long title. And I was really like expecting like a long kind of poem out of it. However, the long title was just the long title. Like the whole poem was the title in a sense, 
which I thought was disappointing because I was really like, yeah, a long poem. And like it was interesting, it was cool, but it, it didn't shape to be an actual poem beyond the title. Other thoughts I have on this book of poetry, I have my discussion questions in the Recovery Reads report. I can actually mention a few of them. Like, does anybody else, uh, this is like the first time that I fully read a poetry book and I don't think it's really my style. <laughs> I don't think, cause like, I don't know, unless I'm like taking a class or if it's like a book club kind of thing, like how to read poetry and really understand all the depths of it feels out of touch and out of reach for me at this moment. I have a couple other poetry books that I own, one from like a couple of people who have blogs on WordPress, another one that the Pillow Thoughts one that, that is pretty popular with like the otter or like the little jellyfish or something on it. And then I have like another one where it's like, oh, I have one that I got from like the library before that I own that I like have written notes and such on and like things to that effect. But like, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think poetry books are really my style. And I'm curious though, if anybody out there reads poetry and like what, what, which ones are your favorite? Do you have any that you would recommend? How do you go about reading poetry and, and deciphering and understanding all of the, the depth and the, the meat of it in a sense? And then also, do you write poetry? Cause I have, I've written poetry before. I haven't lately, um, not like in the last couple of years or so, but Usually my poems tend to be kind of long and stuff too. Like I'm not, I also found the really short poems that are like three lines long in this book, not really my fave. They're just too vague to me and too like, bleh. but like long stuff is like good for me at least. And another thing would be, first question I asked was whether you think it's fiction versus sort of creative nonfiction, that kind of thing. Then how do you read poetry? If you write poetry, what do you write about? Which poem stood out to you the most? So if you read the book, free plug, I suppose, totally not spons. You can go read the book and tell me which ones are your, are your favorite. All of those that I have mentioned that stood out for me from looking at the book, the page numbers are in the review itself. What other types of themes would you like to see or read about in this book? Yeah, so what could what else do you think if you if you read this book or if you go and you go out in the future to read this book, like what other poems or you know, topics or themes would you have wanted to see in it? I think a little bit more about existentialism and also maybe like space and stuff or more of the nature stuff too. I liked the nature ones. Those, those are pretty cool. So that's essentially the biggest overview of both of my reviews on my blog, but also some questions to ask you guys as well. So if you have favorite poetry books, you know what they are, uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you have a particular book that you would like me to read and then do an analysis for rev multiple review uh, process for, leave that down below. Is there anything in this video book review, either in this one or in previous ones that you certainly liked or you would like to see me feature more of? let me know in the comments. Uh, again, these are, especially with the recovery reads and the new book review format, it's very new and I'm trying to figure it all out. And it's, you know, it's gonna be trial and error and like figuring out what works and what doesn't work. For this book, I didn't really have a lot of Creative Cove kind of ideas other than maybe kind of sparking up, like, you know, going back into reading some of my old poetry and, you know, filming that and, and reading it out loud to you guys and embracing sort of that creative thing, which I might be doing also with fan fiction stuff in the future. So just really kind of grappling with it. I did like it. I did like it in that sense. I, again, I only rated this book a two out of five, but I did, I, there was something different. Sorry. There was something different that I, when I approached this book, it was, it was different because I read this book between, uh, I guess it was all in July. I read it like three days in July, uh, 2024 and hold on, wasn't done. I think it's an ambulance. I guess that was an ambulance. So I read this book in about three days and something different from this book was that I realized while I was reading it, like, oh, there was a picture I forgot to mention. I forgot to include it in the review, but there was a photo that I took of myself. Let me see if I can find it. 
which is like the face that I was making. I'll show it. But this was my face because I was very like, I am so confused. I don't know what I'm reading. Like I was like, what? Like, what did I just read? Like I was like, I don't understand. Like there's so much more being said here than like I can reasonably like figure out and decipher. So that was just like a funny video, uh, funny photograph that I took where I was like, I, I was just, I was making that expression. I'm like, I have to take a photo of this to like capture the fact that I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. What am I reading about? Like what, what is happening? But something I noticed when I was reading this book was that I, as opposed to other times where I would get like kind of avoidant with a book, like I'm like, oh, I really hate this book right now, but I have to finish reading it, but then I'm gonna go on YouTube for like, you know, an hour, or I'm gonna go look up, oh, I wonder how so-and-so is doing for another hour, or whatever it might be, I would avoid it. For this book, this is the first time that I was like, I'm just gonna sit, I'm just gonna finish reading it. The, 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 the more that I can withstand and finish reading, the quicker I can get it like just fully read, the quicker I can get it reviewed, the quicker I can get the video review done, and then I won't have to worry about like, I, and then once, then once all of that happens, then I can return the book, and I'm free of the book, and I won't have to ever think about the book again. And like, so it was, it was just a different process this time, which was really interesting. Because again, normally I'm more like I would just avoid or I would put it off and just procrastinate on it. But this time I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna have to read this book anyway. So I might as well just suffer through it, sit through it, suffer through it, get it done, and then I can review it. And then once I have it reviewed, I can return it and then I won't have to think about it again. So that was kind of my process this time, which again is different and uh, effective. It was quite effective. And the last things that I'll say for this review is that these, as I do in the other uh, reviews and such, this is the next book that I am reading. This one is due next week and it's called Winter Solstice and it's an essay by Nina McLaughlin. So I will be reading that. I am also going to be reviewing the book You Are Underneath, which is uh, secrets of getting your book published so that review will be going out I have no idea how I'm gonna do it because there's like at least maybe 50 to 75 page flags in it so there's a lot of stuff and the book after that that I have that I haven't started reading but would be next up on the block is this one from Whole Beauty Meditation and Mindfulness so that'd be really good that I have kind of upcoming I will probably spend a little bit of time reading today and let me know what you thought in the comments of this video and I don't know when I'll get it up but it'll be interesting so yeah let me know your thoughts uh, all in the comments or on the blog or reddit or wherever it might be and as always stay safe much love and light to you thank you for watching and if you liked this video or you like this content, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in another video upload sometime soon. So, all right. Thank you. Bye. Guiding like a lighthouse to power